Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and in today's video I'm going to talk about my favorite self-tanners. I would say I've been using self-tanning lotions for the past 20 years. I know it sounds crazy but it's true. I've started in high school and then I just became sort of addicted to it. I think it's too much to say addicted but I definitely love using self-tanners in summer especially because first I don't like to sit, sit in the sun because obviously you know it's not good for the skin and second of all even if sun would have been something you know good for me I don't have the patience to sit and tan that's something that I've never had patience for and when I discovered self tanners I'm like yes I can get that sun-kissed skin without the damage and without having to sunbathe. I consider myself a little, I wouldn't call it expert, but you guys, I've tried so many self-tanning lotions that I think right now I do have the knowledge and also the experience on talking about this product. So let's get into the first product. I've been loving the Loving Tan for many, many years probably about seven years. Uh, this is their original deluxe bronzing mousse and I like to use the dark one, but they also have the two hour express. The reason why I like this particular brand is because of the color and the longevity and the way it comes off. Very, very important. The tan, the fake tan has to mimic the natural tan that I get when I sit in the sun. Else, you know, like, what's the point of applying self-tan and this one would get the closest to the natural color of my sun-kissed skin so that's the first reason why i use it a second would be the smell it does not have undesirable smell like i think that out of everything that i'm going to show you this one is the most pleasing in terms of the way it smells it's very easy to apply it has this super nice moussey texture and it does have um, a guide so it, it has a guidance color what does that mean it means that as soon as you apply it your skin will get colored and you will see where you've applied your self tan because there are other products out there they don't have any color guidance so when you apply them they are completely clear that's a little bit harder to apply because if you're not experienced and you don't know all the places that you might miss then you might end up having stains like not having your self tanner apply in a even layer so that's why i love this because it also has that guidance color now the way you're supposed to use this obviously exfoliate your skin uh, hydrate the dry areas of your skin and then use a mitt i don't like the loving tan mitt i'm gonna be honest with you it's okay i mean if i don't have any other mitt i would use that but i prefer to use either vita liberata or Saint Tropez uh, Mitt, those two are amazing. But this has such a nice lightweight texture and when it comes off, because I think that's very important, the way the self tan comes off, you don't feel it. Like you're not gonna have any patches or I don't know, it just there are some self tanners that just go off your skin so weird as if you have dirt on your skin. This is amazing. You don't feel when the tan comes off. And also what I like about it is that it doesn't come off your clothes unless you're, let's just say you're wearing something light, like white, and it's very, very close to your armpit. If you've applied self tanner, like on your armpit area it will rub off a little bit i've noticed that because i had this uh, white vest that i absolutely love and and i love to apply self tan and obviously i've applied self tan everywhere including like under my arm and it kind of rubbed uh, off on uh, like right in here it's not the most pleasant image but you know it's not something that will stay in your clothes it will come off when you wash it but i'm just saying that you should be aware of that so yeah i love everything about this product and i i think that right now this is my number one 
Um, I'm not very faithful to one brand just because Loving Tan, for example, it's an Australian brand. I live in Paris. It's very hard for me to get uh, anything from Australia in here because I pay the custom uh, taxes and then the shipping and it's just a little crazy for me. So if the brand would send me the product, I'm very grateful. But if not, I would rather buy something local like... Saint Tropez. And this is actually what I have on right now. I've self tanned. Today is Tuesday. I self tan on Saturday uh, evening. And I've used this one uh, watermelon infusion. This smells really, really nice. Very, very similar with this. It's just that the color, it's just a bit more. I don't know if you could tell. This is the color, right? So the color is just a bit, just a pinch more warm than the Loving Tan. Loving Tan is very olive this one is a pinch warmer not orange okay it's more on the yellow side and also it does not last as long as loving tan loving tan would last on me about 10 days no problem whatsoever like it's so so nice to have the tan for 10 days the only thing that you have to keep in mind no matter what self tanning you use but especially mousse textures you have to hydrate your skin because self-tanners in general will dehydrate your skin. So it's very important to hydrate every single day. Like I said, this one does not last as long as the other one. And I would say already in my sixth day, I don't see any color on my body. But again, it comes off so naturally, so beautifully. You don't feel it. It's not weird. It has a pleasant smell. Uh, it's very, very similar in texture. Like if I, if someone would put, you know, Loving Tan and Saint Tropez on a mitt, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one is which. That's how similar they are. Next is Tan Lux Illuminating Gradual Tan Lotion. It looks like this. It's a very, very light more like a milky texture. I don't know. Can you get me closer so people can see? No, you cannot tell. It's more like a milk. It's incredibly lightweight on the skin. Like I love this product for how easy it is to apply it. You do have to wash your hands immediately after you get this on. These tanning products, they will look different on each and every one of us. Like for example, I, uh, you know, I love loving tan and it looks amazing on me. My sister-in-law absolutely despises it. She is blonde, green eyes. Uh, her natural skin, when she gets tan, is a little bit golden. So she loves the color of this. So she, but she also loves the Saint Tropez in terms of color, like more than anything else. She hates the color from Loving Tan. And I can understand why. It's just not the color of her skin. This is very hydrating, really easy to use. You have to get through the whole process, obviously, exfoliating your skin and everything. Uh, you're not gonna feel your skin being dry at all. It's a gradual tan, so if you want it darker, you could apply every day for like, let's just say three, four days until you get the color of the tan that you prefer. This is really, really nice. And like I said, nice smell, really, this one really has a beautiful smell and also um, lightweight texture. This one does not have the color guidance, meaning that, you know, let's just uh, put it on like so. So as you can see, it does not have the color guidance. I will spread it with a mitt because I don't want to have to go to the bathroom and wash my hands afterwards. So this one does not have the color guidance, which means that you're not going to see where you've applied this. So you have to make sure that, you know, you have spread it really, really well all over. But there is an advantage about these type of products that do not have the color guidance because it's not going to stain your clothes right after you apply it. With the Saint Tropez and the Loving Tan Mousse that I've just showed you, you need to wear something black or dark colors right after you apply your self tan, else it's going to stain your clothes. And then only after you have your first shower, the self tan will already like develop on the skin and it will not come off. 
I have two other products from Tan Lux that I've been showing you many, many times. Uh, and these are very, very practical self-tanning drops. One is for the body and one is for the face. And the way you want to use this, it's literally by just mixing these. Feels like a serum, right? You're just mixing this with your body lotion. So what I usually do, I put some body lotion in my hand and then I do like five or six drops and then I apply it all over my body. That is when I would like to prolong my self tan after using this or this. Because this uh, tan lux, it will only give you um, a glow on the skin, like just a little bit of warmth to the skin. It's literally as if you've been in the sun for a few hours uh, and you develop that golden tan. That's how this color is. Depends, of course, on how much you apply it. But on the first application, just like, like I said, five, six drops with your body lotion. And it will give you a beautiful, very discreet color. Um, and I also love the, the one for the face. You can use it exactly in the same way with your moisturizer. You mix it a few drops, more like one or two drops for the face. And then you apply it at night. You wake up your whole face is sun-kissed and then if you want darker you could apply again until you get the color that you want you get no headaches from these two products it won't stain your clothes it won't stain anything they're so so discreet echo sonia face tan water um, at first I was very very skeptical about this water but a lot of you messaged me about this product telling me that it's so good so that's when I had the confidence to actually try it and it's really really beautiful it's a natural product and it doesn't have any nasty ingredients this is the type of product that anybody can use you just put a few drops on your uh, palms and then you tap it all over the face at night preferably it's super super natural and discreet and I love the color it will never be too dark I'm not sure if you're pregnant you have to do your research but I think that this is the type of product that even pregnant ladies can use this next product it's not it's not really a tan, like a self tan. I mean, it is, but it's like a temporary uh, self tan because it will come off when you shower. This is the By Terry T2 Tan Face and Body. You guys, this is such an amazing product. This is the type of product that I don't use it every week or not even probably every month, but every time I need it, let's just say maybe that week I did not feel like self-tanning my body and there was an event or a zoom call I had to feel good about myself and that's when this guy comes handy because you can apply it right after you get out of the shower you don't have to exfoliate or anything like it you just spray it and then spread it with a brush or with a mitt and it gives you instant color and it will not rub on your clothes it's fantastic I remember last year I was using this probably the most because I would leave the house I would have like a long sleeve jumper but then I would wear shorts or biker shorts or just something that would show off my legs and I feel you know a little self-conscious because I do have a lot of veins the spider veins I have it all over my body but especially on my legs and I feel like whenever I'm wearing this I'm applying this uh, it just shows much much less not to mention that it has the most discreet color ever like let me try to use it now i just hope that i'm not gonna spritz it on my white uh, top okay <gasps> it's so liquidy you need to have a brush or a mitt I don't know if you could tell, but it's it's super, super discreet. It gives you just that golden glow. And for legs, it's amazing. And again, this is one of those products, but please do your research. Uh, I think this is one of those products that pregnant women can use. All right, guys, these were my favorite self-tanning lotions. Uh, if you're watching me on Instagram as well, you 
are probably not surprised by my options. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite self-tanner. Do you even self-tan? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!